Thank you. Thank you very much for your testimony. Um, I'll start out with a few questions and then turn it over to my colleagues. Um, in the latter part of your testimony, you referenced the um, litigation and strategies around the uh, sugary drink tax, sweet beverage, whatever you call it. Um, and you talked about what all of us believe to be laudable programs. We're really excited about pre-K and expansion and the uh, rebuild program, community schools. Uh, I think we have a, I think the mayor and I think I get to go along to a couple of places, Dobbins. We're going to do a lot of things, bottom line. Um, but there was an initiative um, that the, the administration um, supported um, in terms of uh, signing on, on the borrowing, uh, the preservation initiative. It was kind of a council initiative um, that some of us think is, to a large degree, is equal, equally exciting because it does infuse a level of uh, support for a significant number of, and all know, not necessarily be vulnerable population, but if not addressed, it, they will ultimately be vulnerable in terms of the many houses across the city of Philadelphia that are, are in disrepair and continuing to de decay from a structural nature. So, and I, then I look in the five-year plan, it's mentioned like on page 234. So sometimes, you know, we in council, we want to know the priorities of the administration. Is this a significant priority with the administration? Because I know it is with us. Uh, in terms of the actual implementation. So with that, can you kind of tell me, you know, the revenues? Because I asked a question uh, maybe a few weeks ago about what kind of revenues were we collecting uh, on the real estate transfer tax, uh, a tax that's not being challenged in court. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't have an answer at the time, and I'm wondering where are we at with that program, and if you can kind of quickly walk me through the timeline on mm -hmm. the borrowing and the implementation of that program we think is very important. And also, can you talk to me, and I know there have been some discussions about the second phase of that program, which I know Councilwoman uh, Sherelle Parker is very interested in, uh, the potential for uh, uh, borrowing uh, for infrastructure improvement on households at that population that doesn't always kind of fall between the cracks, the people that don't make enough money for some of the high-end stuff that's going on in the city, but they are a little above the federally mandated guidelines in terms of getting support from the government for housing, and we wanted to have that um, low to no interest loan program to help infrastructure and individuals' houses across the city. If you can kind of talk to me about that. I know that's a long question. So. <laughs> Two part. So I can talk about the Time, Rob Dubo, director. I can talk about the timeline for the borrowing, for the uh, affordable housing borrowing, and, and what we're doing in the meantime. So, um, our current schedule is to have the borrowing in July. That doesn't mean that the program has to wait till July. Uh, paid at one of its recent meetings passed a resolution allowing us to reimburse costs that we incur now when we issue those bonds. So we can start ramping up the program now, and then we'll reimburse ourselves in July. So it, it's starting now. So we're ready to spend. You say now? Are we ready to spend money now? Yeah, I actually think some spending has already started. So I guess my question is, are we ready to implement? Because we have to, and I know this is a question that's probably not necessarily in your pay grade, because you're the, the finance guy. But I guess I'm trying to get a sense of when can people expect support for the actual rollout of a program that can literally address 5,000 uh, households that are on the backlog. And I'm, it's kind of unclear. I know there was an issue about the timeline, and you put me at a comfort level uh, when you told me about being able to uh, spend dollars now and get reimbursed at the time of the borrowing. But I don't. I guess I'm trying to find out when do we actually start. 
I'm Ann Fadulin, Director of Planning and Development. Um, so that program, the uh, Basic System Repair, Adaptive Mod, and Weatherization programs, the home repair programs are run out of our department. We're currently in the process of staffing up. Um, we have hired several inspectors. We still need inspectors, so if folks are qualified and they're looking for a job, please contact the Philadelphia Housing Development Corporation. We also have the equipment in place. So the initial, um, we've contacted about 200 uh, households that were on the waiting list. We're scheduling the inspections now. We anticipate through uh, April, May, June that over the course of those months, probably in April because we're ramping up, we'll do an additional 200 inspections. Um, we anticipate by the end of about June we'll be up to 500. And uh, based on those inspections, hopefully no reinspections are needed. We can actually start doing those improvements in May. May? May. So May is start time. May. All right. So I want to make sure we have a scheduled a press conference. We'll yeah, we are not. I just want to make sure that we're not um, we're not waiting for the bond issue. I mean, right. I think we all we're hoping things move quicker than they do, but we are in the process of getting uh, ramped up. It did require us to get additional vehicles, get additional um, you know equipment for the inspectors, and hire several more inspectors and get that all those systems in place. But that has been. You know, that's underway into the point where we can now really start to roll things out. And what about the contractor side? Um, the contractor side, we are working with them. We have been meeting with the contractors to see what their capacity would be to increase the contracts. Uh, it would probably be sometime in the summer when we increase contracts, but that's not slowing us down. We're just going to continue to roll through the contractors that we have. And um, now all of them were at the max capacity of their contracts that we currently allow. So we are going to maximize everybody's existing contract and then um, can increase. That will probably happen in July when the bonds get issued, the full increase of the contractor uh, amounts of those contracts. Wait a minute. So what, what, are we, what are we doing in May? We have contractors that can start We have in May. contracts now, but there are certain limits that um, I, I, I'm – that's a few hundred thousand dollars that each contractor can have under contract right now. We expect, expect to be able to expand that, I think, to a million dollars once the bond issue happens. But not every contract was working up to that maximum currently. So we are increasing what we can currently in anticipation of increasing further when the bond issues happen. So you're saying, I guess you're saying that we're not, I mean, because we did pass this last year. Yes. In June. Yes. So we knew this was coming. Yes. So are you telling me that we're now not at a point when we have enough contractors to accelerate the program? Because the, the issue was not just to continue along the same pace. The issue was the infusion of cash would allow us to accelerate this program quite aggressively. Right. So I'm hearing, maybe I'm hearing wrong, that you're looking at the contractors that you currently have, some who are not at capacity. But there's a strong likelihood that we will have to get additional contractors and increase the We've, we've actually capacity. talked to, uh, we have an RFQ. Should, should we be like right. ready to do that already? We, we, we do have an RFQ that's out on the street to get additional contractors, but we do believe with our contractors we have that they have additional capacity. And so we've been also working with the existing contractors to make sure that when we are able to expand the contracts that they have what they need in order to to grow the capacity with the contractors that we have in place. All right. So when you come back for your department, I'm going to ask you a little more detail. I know this is the five-year plan, so I don't want to get too much into minutia.